So when I was learning how to drive, I took driving lessons, and the people who taught me how to drive at these driving lessons were some pretty fucking weird people. First teacher I had was this lady who when we went into the car, she pulled out a Ziploc bag from her purse with a pork chop in it. She said, do you want some? I said, no, please get that away from me before I call the fucking police and I crash into a wall. Thank you. The second teacher I had was a man named George. George was an older man who was very religious. He always taught me a Bible lesson every time we drove. He'd be like, this is a story about the guy in the tree. There was a guy in the tree and they were like, get down from the tree. And then that's it, I'm pretty sure. But he was a good teacher. He was a strict driving instructor, but he was a pretty nice guy. And George also had a pretty fucking bad memory. I went into the car with him once and he asked me, is this your first time driving? And I'm like, George, are you fucking kidding me? This is like the third week I've had you in a row. I've driven with you six times already, six times, George. How do you not know who the fuck I am? What's wrong with you, George? But one specific memory I have about driving with George was when we were at a stop sign and out of nowhere comes a beautiful gold wrapped Nissan GTR and I looked at it in awe and I said, wow, George, that's a golden GTR. Isn't that cool? And George looked at me disappointed and he said, you think that's cool, huh? Kids these days, they don't know anything. Let me tell you something. That's not cool. You know what cool is? Cool is raising a family. Cool is going to church. What's not cool is driving one of those stupid cars around the neighborhood and showing off. That's not cool. And I said, okay, I get your point, but it's still a fucking cool car. And he said, no, that person is showing off and he's going to hell. And I'm like, hold on, George. What are you talking about? Explain to me, how is this person going to hell? Because he drives a gold fucking GTR? That's what qualifies you for a life of infinite torment? Are you kidding me, George? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't think this guy went to the body shop to get his car wrapped and they were like, well, if you get the blue, you go straight up to heaven, no problem, but if you get the gold, you're going to have to go to hell. What? Why do I have to go to hell? I've done so many good things in my life. I've built homes for the homeless. I've volunteered at soup kitchens. I haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, yeah, no, I get that. Trust me, I get that. But if you want the gold, uh, you're going to have to go to hell. Well then, I'm not too sure that I want the gold wrap now if, if I'm going to have to go to hell. Is that so? You don't want the wrap anymore? Yeah, I'm not too sure that I want to wrap my car gold now because I know this new information that I'm going to be sent to hell and that's not something I really want. Uh-huh, I see. I get that, man. But um, if you look at the gold, it's pretty nice and shiny, right? Yeah, you're right. It is nice and shiny. Send me to hell. What I want to do, though, is I want to find where George lives. I want to find his house. And while he's asleep, I'm going to wrap everything in his house in gold. Everything. His couch, his chairs, his bed, whatever I can find in his home will become gold. And then he'll wake up in the morning and see that everything is gold. And he's going to be like, oh, my God, what have I done? He'll look at his bedroom. It's gold. His kitchen, gold. His fucking bathroom, gold. And he'll think about what his life has become, what curse has been put upon him that turned everything he loves into gold. This isn't life. This is a living hell. And as he takes his final deep breath and he puts his hand upon his chest so that way he can finally turn gold too and end his Midas curse, I'll burst into his house and say, got ya. This was all a prank. You got punked, bitch. I wrapped everything in your house in gold. You got pranked. I can't fucking believe you thought everything in your house was gold. You're a fucking idiot. You're so stupid, George. You're so dumb. I can't believe it. What do you have to say for yourself, huh? What do you have to say? Uh, I'm really sorry, but do I know you? George, are you fucking kidding me?